Hello, it's Saturday the 9th of March 2024. It's almost spring and it's match day once again. Premier League action back at Dean Court. It's AFC Bournemouth versus Sheffield United in the Premier League. 3 pm kickoff on a Saturday, which is obviously the best time to have a kickoff. Um, Get bored of these Sunday random time kickoffs, these Thursday nights and stuff like that. Though obviously, maybe we'll have to get used to that when we get the Europa League in a few years' time. Maybe. So I'm currently leaving Castle Point, which for those people who aren't local to Bournemouth and Dorset is a big shopping centre uh, in the Bournemouth area. And it's been a long time since I came here on a Saturday and uh, obviously it's Mother's Day tomorrow. Absolutely rammed and I'm queuing to get out. So luckily I've given myself about an hour to get to the ground. So there you go. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm surprised it's busy. It's Saturday and Mother's Day, so my fault. So I actually did go to Bramall Lane in the reverse fixture back here at the end of November. Fantastic day out that was. Uh, for those of you who need reminding, here's what here's here's some highlights or a highlight from the trip to Bramall Lane back in November. <laughs> seeing a lot of things online where the pundits and the experts seem confident that we'll get a win today. Obviously Sheffield United have been, you know, had a tough season, they've had a tough few weeks, they got battered by Arsenal, I mean, most teams have been getting battered, battered by Arsenal 6-0 uh, last week, but you know, no game's easy in the Premier League and I still think it'll be a tough game, I'm sure Chris Wilder will have a, will have a what's the saying, blowing a rocket up their asses. Um, Going to rock out their asses, um, and he'll be looking for a response. And I'm sure their supporters will be looking for a response today as well. So I'm, you know, I, I still think we've got enough to win. I would say maybe um, two 0 I'd like to, you know, a couple goals to the good. Obviously, a bit touch and go as to whether Dom will play or play the full match because he's you know, still nursing a knee injury. Um, but I don't think a lot of people say it's going to be a, a pushover. I don't think it'll be a pushover today. It's going to be. It's always tough in the Premier League. I mean, against Burnley last week, we did win two 0 wasn't a great performance, and Burnley had so many chances. So yeah, I'm expecting a tough game. It's not going to be as straightforward as people think. Uh, got a lot of time for Sheffield United. You know, they're a proper club, well supported team. When I went to Bramall Lane last a um, few months ago, it's clear to see very passionate fan base there I'm sure it will pick up I mean, it looks like they will be getting relegated this season but maybe that'll be a good thing they'll be able to rebuild and then try again next season um, so yeah I'm gonna say 2-0 so now heading over to the ground I'm still stuck in traffic getting out of Castle Point so let's see if I get to the, uh, the ground on time so just walking through Kings Park and as you can probably tell I'm not running so I actually made it in plenty of time there's actually probably one of the earliest I've got to a home game in months so yes yeah, it's gonna half two uh, team news is out, uh, pretty much as we expect, but good news, Dom is starting. Um, it's Zabani and Mepham at the back, because obviously Sinesi's now injured. Uh, and the other thing I've noticed that Tyler Adams is on the bench, which is great to see. I don't think he'll get any minutes if anything, he might make an appearance against Luton on Wednesday. It might just be a little bit too early, but yeah, strong team, confident. I've heard on the radio that Sheffield United have made a few changes from the team that lost to Arsenal, which is not a surprise. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they line up. But yes, I'm still going to go for 2 0. so much time that I might even do a lap of the ground. I've not done that in ages. Let's go have a look. Let's go let's go have a look at the north stand east and main stand shall we? Actually, 
I'm able to tell you this is fast. It's not the chance. Right, follow me. Sitting deep, trying to get us on the counter attack, and it worked. Their goal was their one proper chance, they scored from it. Same issue we've had the past couple of weeks. We've had so many chances, just not clinical enough. We should have had two or three <sighs> possession stats. We must be at the 80%, surely. But they fair play, should have been like resolute at the back, hard to break down. You know, we really need to get something out of this game. Um, they're there for the taking, really. I think if we can just get that, that first goal, then we're going to push on the win. We're currently one nil shell tonight. It's a bit of a slog at the moment. Wow. Wow.
Wow. 2 0 show tonight. I don't know what I've just seen. That was calamitous. Neto hit it into one of our players and they tapped it. I do not watching it. That was embarrassing. 2 0 show tonight. And to be honest with you, we don't deserve anything more. We've been, we've been really poor second half. Two one straight away, Dom. But I think the AR's looking at something. I don't know what's happened there. Let's see. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's just good. No way I'm from here. And now they're checking handball. It's gone from possible handball. Possible be offside. How possible handball? Fuck's sake. Desperate to cancel this out. Desperate. Oh. Disallowed. Campbell. Still two nil shot tonight. Form of two, Sheffield United two. Um, that game sort of had everything. VAR, disallowed goals, a penalty, one of the worst penalties I've ever seen. Very unfortunate for Dom there. Um, we, I think we did deserve it. You know, we were the better team in terms of possession and chances, but Sheffield United set up exactly how I expected. They made it really difficult for us. They defended really well, I thought. Um, you know, niggly fouls, they were you know, time-wasting second off, but you expect that when they're scrapping for points. Um, I didn't see that coming when we went 2-0 down. Um, I thought it was one of those games where we just weren't going to score. But thank God we did. Um, good for Dango and you now to get his first goal. You know, I'll take that considering how the game played out before the game would be disappointed. But, you know, it could have been much worse. So 2-2 um, doesn't really do much for Sheffield United, to be honest. Um, but I think Luton and uh, obviously Everton lost earlier in the day and Luton lost as well. So, calling from the future, chipping in here, just seeing that Luton didn't lose, they got a point today. So, good for them, good for Luton. Well, another point towards safety. Um, yes, yeah, so on to Luton next on Wednesday. Oh, another, another shout out. I thought Dango and Sinistera changed the game for us. I thought they were really good when they came on. I'm pretty, really glad Dango had a good game. Tavernier, double court game. So, so yeah, I'd like to see Sinister start against Luton on Wednesday. Um, yeah, I mean, their two goals, defensive frailties again. 
but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna vote for the index here. We've got a point after being 2 0 down, you know, and we could have easily got a winner at the end there. We were piling on the pressure. A few chances missed a penalty, so there you go. So 2 2, another point on the board. On to Luton. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, well, give it a thumbs up. Uh, why not subscribe? Uh, we'll, as I said, there'll be another vlog and a midweek. We play uh, Luton Town on Wednesday, the rearranged fixture there. So yes, I hope you watch that, I hope you'll come back for that. Thanks for watching, goodbye.